Now this is the template set for doing a five-sided box. This is creating a box that when you take the lid off it opens up and like becomes a bowl. So it's very posh. So you can decide whichever papers and cards you want to use. But we've got the templates in various sizes. Have a look at the template set. But this is a project to go with it. That is the base you can see there. And this is the top. Now what I've done here as well just to give it a little bit more strength. I've printed this out onto just basic thin 80 gram paper, as you can see, and I stuck on the back of this 120 gram card, I put that on the back and that on the front. So the card is in between, which gives you a nice substantial piece of card to work with. Once you've stuck those together, you put the template on and just using a little bit of masking tape, just hold it in position and then you take some, you take a ruler, wherever the dotted lines are, you can then just uh, give that a little indentation into the card underneath. So you just go around, first of all, just scoring down a line to create the indentation of all the design and then you cut it all out where all the straight lines are and don't forget to go across here make pay attention when you're cutting out because some have got dotted lines and some are straight lines so when you've cut it out you end up with this now you're doing that to both the base and the top let's put the base to one side first we're going to create the top so basically what you have to do, I've already creased it, you fold it over in all the places where the creases are, like so, you've got the little tags either side, and then when you fold it over, I like to just stick that down. So it's just a question now of going around and sticking all the flaps to the inside. So now you can see I've stuck the insides down. Now when you fold these flaps down, they might stick up a little bit, but that's good. That's what you want them to. So when you push that onto the base, the uh, kind of hold the grip to the box and keep it nicely together. Now with the box, as you can see, I've got here, I've cut that out ready. Now basically, if you look at these, they fold over. One goes one way and one goes the other way. What does that mean? double dutch to me so basically when you're doing that you're folding over can you see that so that those flaps go inside so you do that all the way around you've creased them already now you just need to make sure it's a little bit fiddly but you're folding those over so you get that little flap there as you can see now as you can see i've folded all those base corners in just press them in like that and then you need to just scrunch it together with your hand and hold it together and place the lid on the top. A little bit fiddly at first but once it's done it the paper kind of recognises where it's got to go. Makes it easier. So then you've got your box, you can fill that with whatever you want, sweeties or whatever. You, but then when you take the lid off it automatically comes a little open bowl there for whatever you've got inside it. 